Morphe. Look at the way you turn around and run now. <gasps> I don't know what I think. Have they just brought us in closer? Yes, of course I still get hit through the pallet. Why am I stumbling? Oh god, okay. This is a big loop. He's already got lost. Holy shit, that's cool as fuck! Oh shit, this gate, this, this grid? Oh god, what's that movement? Oh. Alright, first game, we're playing against someone from the moon. I like the updated, um, what do we call it? On the right hand side, they look lovely. Yes, I am definitely blinded. Sick dead hard, bro. That must be one of my subs. I have borrowed time. Well, that's hard to see now. That's not the best update. Oh, this pallet's stupid. Look how strong this pallet is. There is no outplay for that pallet. Too strong. Big save! That's a very broken pallet. The movement isn't as smooth, is it? Okay. Make the game look sexy. Oh shit, 360s are awkward. Oh, 360s are gone. Three sixties have been deleted. I think. Yeah, they're gone. Your turning circle is, is... Oh, you might be able to get away with it, but your turning circle's been reduced massively. First vigil, now this. Listen. Maybe it's just a new movement I have to learn. There a HUD scale? Yeah, you can make the HUD a lot smaller. I'll try that soon. Skill checks look really clean. Can you moonwalk? Yeah, moonwalk is a lot easier now. A lot easier. Everyone now moonwalks. Marked in the top left, it means two injured survivors. One down, one hooked. It's actually quite difficult. It's, it's in a really horrible place to look at. It's really difficult to draw your eyes up there rather than just to the left. Now you have to go up to the corner. Then you have to scan for the player you're looking for, spot them, and then look back. And you don't scan from left to right like you read a book. That's why... Hello? No bad! Me now! Sorry. My bad. Just fucking heal me! I hate playing at rank one. Survivors are so bad at the game. So bad. She's full health doing the gen. Go and make a save, you sack of... Right, it's really difficult to see how far along that guy's hook is. They, they need to really change the placing of that hood in the corner. I think they've forgotten how the eye reads. It reads from left to right. She's brought him, she's brought the killer to us. Jane has brought the killer to us. 
Jane just ran straight back down here, brought the killer directly to the hook, and then left. Oh, look at this new angle. You can really check out the butts. All right, let's check the floor movement. I, I'm not against the spinning going on the floor. I think that makes sense. Being in the top left-hand corner is, um, I feel like behavior you haven't thought through how you, how the, the eye works. I guess I didn't burn it for long enough. I had to start the burn earlier. This one's GG. Jane's just killed the entire team. She's not very smart. She's called a huge pee pee chunk, so she's obviously brain dead. Um. Oh! So my first reaction is I want to make the HUD smaller, but making that information in the top left hand corner any smaller? Uh, and I like the way your character just stands up straight. Teabagging is somehow even faster. The camera angle is really strange, isn't it? Right. All right, so the hood is tiny now. But I, I, it's so, it's so far away, the top left hand corner. How strange is that? Hmm. Oh, I could have got that flashlight save. I looked at chat when he started picking up. That was a freebie. I don't know why the most prominent thing of the entire hood is the item I'm carrying. Not sure what the play is with that. Crouching flashlight. Is the lineup the same? Look at the head. Oh god, they've changed the angle again. Fuck. We have to relearn how to use the flashlight again. The angle is no longer the same because of the, the switch in the camera. Character doesn't run smooth anymore. It runs like a velociraptor when they're injured. And my leg, just look at my legs spazzing out. Your legs just go fucking every. <laughs> Alright, first proper chase against a huntress. Oh gosh. You can't dodge. You don't have the movement to dodge anymore. You can't move from left to right quickly. That fall down mechanic looks... It looked pretty cool. And you get hooked by your feet. So if anyone who isn't, I, I reckon Hillbilly is now the strongest killer in the game. Thanks Dwight. Okay, so the guy's got a 500 ping. I was fully around the corner then. We're in trouble. I'm panicking! I'm really panicking. All I can think of is my future as a streamer. You can't move quick from... Dude, I think it's more on the mouse now, your movement. You see that? You kind of stop and start again. That's why you can't dodge a hatchet anymore. Does it work better if I use the mouse? Or am I just moving the camera? No, I'm just moving the camera. Oh shit, what are we doing? Is everyone alive? Everyone's alive. Hill has gone from being easy to... I don't know, what's past easy? Dory mode easy. 
Killer has now gone to story mode. The man likes in the basement. There's a little pink line under his name that you can just about see, which I think is the countdown to his hooking. Really difficult to tell. I like the points being in the top right hand corner. That's a really good idea because you don't need to know your points. You don't need to know about basement time. You don't need to know about safe hook rescue. That's perfect being in the top right hand corner. It's it's unuseful information that is just there in case you're curious. That's a good change. All for that. But I think that kind of shows it. They've put useless information, essentially, in an identical spot that they've put the most crucial information in the game. I think that's kind of quite a clear error. My main issue with the UI changes, why did we spread out the information so much when people have been playing this game for years on end and are going to not look at where they have put the new information? Puppy. Hmm. I agree with that. I, I think in their idea, because the thing is, is when you change something, a lot of times the change isn't a bad change, but you're scared of change and not many people like change, and then you just have to adapt. There's a difference between adapting and then me looking at the bottom of my perks. And I have to look at my perks to know if if something's working. I'd have to know if Dead Heart's working, if I'm exhausted. I, I have to know if then I can get adrenaline and stuff. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, I need to know how much flashlight I've got left. And then when I'm looking at how much flashlight I've got left, I have to look at the top left-hand corner to see where my survivors are and who's alive and who's not alive. And the change in emblems at the top is just going to be me learning. Making it easier to see. So I can adapt to that. But having them in 10 different places is uh, very bizarre to me. Oh, the movement is so poor. You are so gimped now. So gimped. The only good thing about this are the increased smoothness of the skill checks. So far I can see this. I love that move. Every killer just eats it for breakfast. Oh, I go down here. Nothing to use. I don't really see me being able to dodge a good hatchet. No chance. No chance. That's me dead. And that is in maximum size. Or it pretty much takes up the entire screen. And back to the butt hook on the... The butt hooking camera. Yeah, the movement's terrible now. 